Welcome my dear listener. Uh, today we shall learn five simple Swahili verbs. Today we shall learn five simple Kiswahili or Swahili verbs. Uh, remember in our last session we said verbs are doing ones. They describe the action. Uh, verbs describe the action and therefore learning verbs is very simple uh, because number one uh, you can practice doing that action uh, by practicing practicing that action it will become very easy for you to learn it number two uh, you can have conversation using that verb with your friends with your colleagues and out of doing that you can learn verbs easily and today we have the first verb the first verb is crying crying in kiswahili is kulia 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 that is to say crying in the sentence this man is crying in Kiswahili, mwanaume huyu analia. Mwanaume huyu analia. Read with me. Mwanaume huyu analia. Uh, man in Kiswahili is mwanaume. Mwanaume. Is in Kiswahili is huyu. That is pointing out. Then crying in Kiswahili is kulia, kulia. We have the next sentence. This child is crying. This child is crying. In Kiswahili, we say mtoto huyu analia. Mtoto huyu analia. Read with me. Mtoto huyu analia. Mtoto huyu analia. Uh, child in Kiswahili is mtoto, 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 mtoto. Uh, huyu analia. Mtoto huyu analia. We have the second, uh, the second verb, sleeping. Sleeping in Kiswahili is kulala. Kulala. Sleeping in Kiswahili is kulala. Uh, the verb there is lala. Lala. Kulala. But the action itself is kulala in Kiswahili. We said you, you and ku in every Kiswahili. Uh, Kiswahili verb kulala. Kulala. Uh, the sentence we have, the first one is, the child is sleeping. The child is sleeping. In Kiswahili, mtoto, mtoto, amelala. You can see the child sleeping there. Mtoto, amelala. Mtoto, amelala. That is, uh, mtoto, Amelala. Mtoto amelala. That is Kiswahili. You can see the child sleeping there. Uh, we have the next we have the next the next verb. We have the next the next sentence I mean. Uh, the sentence is father is sleeping. Father is sleeping. That is to say in Kiswahili, Baba Amelala. Baba Amelala. Baba Amelala. Read with me. Baba Amelala. Baba. Baba is father. Amelala is asleep. Baba Amelala. 
is sleeping father is sleeping father is sleeping baba amelala baba amelala you can see that man there maybe is the father to the kid hmm? he's also asleep hmm? baba amelala baba amelala we have the next verb singing singing in kiswahili is kuimba 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 ku imba the verb is imba hmm? but the action is ku imba you and ku at the beginning of the verb hmm? in kiswahili they are called vitenzi the verb is vitenzi 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 so uh, kuimba in kiswahili kuimba that is singing 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 is kuimba 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 repeat with me kuimba 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 so uh, in sentence we have this girl is singing you can see the girl there singing in kiswahili msichana huyu anaimba msichana huyu anaimba msichana huyu msichana 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 huyu anaimba that is to say this girl is singing msichana huyu anaimba msichana read with me msichana huyu anaimba msichana huyu anaimba msichana huyu anaimba we have the next sentence this young boy is singing this young boy is singing this young boy is singing that is in english uh, in kiswahili kijana huyu anaimba kijana huyu anaimba kijana huyu anaimba kijana is a young young boy is is huyu singing is anaimba 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 we are trying to give you different examples so that um, you can learn them so that you can learn the verb in kiswahili remember our aim is to make you uh, understand the verb in kiswahili kijana huyu anaimba kijana huyu anaimba the next verb is laughing 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 in kiswahili is kucheka 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 the verb itself is cheka cheka but we said when we are talking about verbs in kiswahili you and ku ku in every 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 verb in every uh, verb you and ku ku then kucheka 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 you can see the child is very happy that baby is very happy very happy is laughing so in english you have the sentence the baby is laughing the baby is laughing in kiswahili we shall have mtoto anacheka mtoto anacheka cheka cheka kucheka cheka kucheka mtoto huyu anacheka mtoto huyu anacheka mtoto is the baby is is huyu laughing is anacheka anacheka mtoto huyu anacheka repeat with me mtoto huyu anacheka 
Repeat again. Mtoto huyu anacheka. You can see the baby. Baby is very happy, laughing. Mm. Mtoto huyu anacheka. Mtoto huyu anacheka. The last time, mtoto huyu anacheka. We have the next sentence. These people, these people are laughing. These people are laughing. In Kiswahili, watu hawa wanacheka. Hawa watu wanacheka. Hawa. Hawa is this. This is hawa. People is watu. People. Watu. Wanacheka. Are laughing. Are laughing in Kiswahili is one word. Uh, is one word wanacheka wanacheka they are many now plural mm, these people are laughing hawa watu wanacheka hawa watu wanacheka read with me hawa watu wanacheka hawa watu wanacheka read for the last time Hawa watu wana cheka. Let us move to the next verb playing. Playing in Kiswahili is kucheza. Kucheza. The verb is cheza, but when you want it to become uh, to become a complete verb, you say kucheka. You and ku. Ku, kucheza, kucheza, kucheza. You can see some children there playing football. They are playing football, and playing is kucheza, kucheza, cheza, kucheza. Watoto hawa wanacheza. You can see the kid in the field trying to play the football. Uh, so in, in English we have the sentence, children are playing ball. Children are playing ball. In, uh, in uh, Kiswahili, we shall have watoto hawa, plural now. There are many watoto wanacheza mpira watoto wanacheza uh, wa, wanacheza mpira watoto uh, that is the word mtoto in uh, in plural in Kiswahili is watoto watoto when they are many hmm? but in singular is mtoto but because you can see they are many we are saying watoto, watoto, watoto. Then playing is wanacheza, wanacheza, wanacheza. Repeat with me, wanacheza. Ball is mpira, 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 mpira. Ball in Kiswahili is mpira, mpira. Mpira, mpira, watoto wanacheza mpira, watoto wanacheza mpira, watoto wanacheza mpira. Then we have the next sentence, uh, children are playing computer games, children are playing computer games games children are playing computer games in kiswahili watoto wanacheza michezo ya tarakilishi let me repeat again watoto wanacheza michezo ya tarakilishi watoto wanacheza michezo ya tarakilishi 
watoto wanacheza michezo ya tarakilishi tarakilishi is computer uh, children is watoto are playing we said it is one one wanacheza in kiswahili uh, computer games is in kiswahili michezo ya tarakilishi michezo 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 is games games then computer is tarakilishi in kiswahili tarakilishi tara kilishi tara kilishi let us read for the last time watoto wanacheza michezo ya tara kilishi watoto wanacheza michezo ya tara kilishi uh, we thank you our listener for watching this video we request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, click the bell icon so that whenever we upload a video like this one you will be notified also uh, we remind you that we have uploaded many videos on see uh, on uh, basic basic uh, kiswahili uh, communication we have uh, we have uploaded video here in this channel uh, you can uh, watch them and we believe at the end of the day you will be able to communicate in kiswahili thank you very much until next time we appreciate uh, for your time